Hey guys, Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. Um, today I'm doing a video on something that has been weighing heavy on my heart. This is not a homesteading video. This is not a how-to video. This is just something that I feel like needs to be said. Um, I'm a little upset. I want to talk about, you know, the attack on Ukraine and how Putin said that if anybody messes or intervenes with his plans, then there will be consequences. This guy's... Um, He's not messing around. You've seen what he's done. I watching these videos and these kids screaming in the background and the daddy kissing his daughter because he's got to go fight. You know, and she's they're all devastated. It's just heartbreaking. And that's to put it nicely. I'm putting it nicely. <laughs> okay? I think it's horrible. I just think that we all should probably be a little prepared. I know not everybody's a homesteader, not everybody, you know, is a prepper, has their pantry stocked full, you know, ready. But I would say, um, if I were you, I would at least put three weeks of food that you don't have to heat up, that you can just open up and eat, you know, at least three weeks or four weeks of food put away, just in case. You know, we have a cyber attack or something like that. We have no idea how on the edge our grid is, do we? Um, anything could happen. So anyway, I would just, you know, have some food put away. Be prepared for, you know, anything that happens. Like I said, a way to cook it, a way to heat it up. Um, but something that you can open up and not even have to heat up. Granola bars, you know, soups, things like that. Chili, beans, oatmeal that you just add water to. That's another thing. Water. You should probably be stocked up on some water. I'll show you a picture of my water that I have in there that has saved me a dozen times. A hundred percent saved me a hundred times. A dozen times, excuse me. Um, when our water has, you know, froze up or our water was cut off because there's a broken line that happens quite often around here. And that water has just saved me. Um, I have water filters that I could, you know, pour that water into. I have one of those pitchers, a Brita pitcher or something like that. You know, everything is electric. Um, once our electricity went off and I might go to get water out of my refrigerator, and there's no water. Oh, yeah, I can't get any water out of there. So, anyway, have some water put back. I would also get a little bit of money set aside, you know, like in small bills if you have to. Um, gasoline, that's another thing. If our grid goes down, I mean, did you see the line? If, you, if you're watching the news and all those Ukrainians, they are like in line, huge, huge, tons of cars in line trying to get out of there. Don't let your gas tank go below half a tank. I, I mean, I would keep a full tank. And, you know, if you go to get gas there, it's all computerized. You're not going to be able to get gas anyway if you did or if you were able to go and the grid was down. So these are just some of the things that I hope that you're thinking about. Um, you know, I don't mean to, this is not a fear-based video. I'm just, you know, if you don't want to be scared, then be ready. Be prepared. Be able to feed your family. I can't stand seeing them babies, you know, hurting. <laughs> I can't imagine looking at my kids and saying, I'm sorry, I don't have any food. I don't have anything prepared. You know, I don't, I'm not ready. I don't have anything. Can you imagine? So anyway, just be a blessing, guys. This is all by design. It's all in the Bible. It is happening. If you have a Bible and you're not, it's hard to understand. And I know I've been there. I, it's hard to understand some of it. Um, I've, I've mentioned it before, but the Shepherd's Chapel, it's on Dish on 256. And he kind of explains, him and his son, Pastor um, Arnold, they explain, um, you know, what it all means. They break it all down. So this is just the beginning, guys. I mean, it, it we're watching it being played out. But, um, so anyway, also, if it's cold, uh, you're going to want to have some blankets. It is cold here in Oklahoma. It is freezing right now. Even though we're going into March, it is so cold. So you might, if your heat goes out and you don't have any propane heaters or, you know, you don't have a fireplace or whatever, then you're going to want to be bundled up. So you better have some sleeping bags and blankets and things like that, you know, on hand to keep warm. So um, anyway, you guys, I hope that you have a blessed day. Um, I, I promise this is not to be fear-based. It's just something that's weighing on my heart. I just feel like I need to get it out there. I don't know who's going to see this video. I have videos I, I need to be posting. I need to be editing. I've got some canning videos and stuff, but they're just going to have to go on the back burner for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and go into town and get some supplies that I feel like um, that I might need. And I'll just, you know, better safe than sorry. If nothing happens... Um, then look, you got three weeks worth of food or whatever, just eat it like you normally would, you know? Better safe than sorry. You know, I've, I've said this before too. It's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. All right, guys, look at this. No water. 
the very next day after the video our water was off there's a leak somewhere I uh, just wanted to show you all these empty bottles this is just from one morning this is from um, flushing this is from water that we've used to wash our hands you know I've got some over here in a pot we're about to have lunch I mean what a lifesaver I even made coffee first thing this morning after I found out the water was turned off I had these stored in my house underneath my butcher block I found this stuff yesterday at the meat market I've never tried it but it's seafood boil and I have just been craving it my friend posted a picture and I've been craving it ever since so I saw this and I thought oh we have to have it well good thing I've got all these bottles filled with water because they sure came in handy see got my pot here going I just poured it in here business as usual I'll get it boiling and we'll have lunch I just want to add to that I know there you know I've heard things after I made that video the beginning of it this is the next day and I've heard that you know Putin is destroying American bio labs in Ukraine and that's what's going on but you know what it just doesn't matter what exactly is going on out there it America is not invincible um, it just pays to be a little prepared guys so anyway um, just food for thought I hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching have a great day bye bye you guys want some strawberries